Go. Now we're going to use the USB cable to connect the computer to the cutter. So let's plug the USB cable in first. So once you plug it in, you should you should be able to see um, a trigger like a ding dong song from your PC. So we are you are running a Windows 10. If you're not running a Windows 10, you probably need to um, follow us. You know you still can follow a similar um, procedure here. So let's first of all let's click on the search or start button or the search button and click on device I mean type in device and M you will see device manager showing up on the top so click on that that will bring up the device manager as you can see that is the uh, one of cutters it's called FT232R. You may not see this one. If you see something already in there, if you don't see this one, check the port. But this is how it first comes up without installing any um, driver. So now I'm going to show you how to install the latest driver. So let's go to um, Google Chrome. We'll put up a new tab. And on Google, search. F T D I driver F T D I driver enter you can see F T D I driver uh, from F T D I chip dot com don't go to any other website only this website you click on that Let's take some time to load it up so now click on VCP drivers if you roll down you can see the Windows drivers here you can also install Mac if you're using a Mac computer uh, in this case we are going to download the Windows driver so um, go all the way to the end comment section click on setup executable link click and if you start download from the bottom you can see it's not a big program so now it's finished let's click on that you can see there's only one file there so double click on that yeah do you allow to change your device you have to click yes to allow it and click on extract just follow the installation wizard so click on next accept this agreement next it's pretty straightforward just wait until you finish okay now you can see tick tick driver updated I mean device updated device updated that looks very good so let's close this one minimize the browser now if we go back to the device manager you will see you should be able to see under port USB serial port that is your um, vinyl cutters port let's do a testing if I unplug the USB cable, unplug it, the port's gone. Now if you focus on the screen, unplug, it comes up. Unplug, gone. Plug in, comes up. So that is the uh, vinyl cutter port. So now let's change some setting on this port. Double click on that open up the port properties click on port settings don't worry about all the setting here but you don't need to change any of that the only thing we need to change is click on advance and if you look at the miscellaneous options on the right hand side by default you take the first option the serial emulator 
we don't want that. So untick this one and take the second option, which is serial printer. So we only take the serial printer. This is very important. If you don't do it, the cutter will not function properly. All right, so you should see how it looks like. So press OK and press OK again. And now another thing is um, if you're using ArcCut 2009 program, uh, the COM number have to be between one to four. What, uh, ArcCut doesn't detect anything bigger than COM4. So in this case, it's COM4, which is good. Otherwise, let's click in, go to post setting, and advance again. You can see, actually, you can change the COM number here between one to four. And the one is doesn't have in use mark there. So you can select either, let's say one, two, or four in my computer, in my case. So let's try to change it to COM1. Press OK, press OK. Now you can see it's on COM1. But you need to remember it's COM1 because we need to use this one to set up the uh, software. So let's now close the device manager and open up ArcCut. So the first thing you see is um, creating a page. So in our case, this is 2000 millimeter, 600 millimeter high. So you can set up anything you want. Let's say I want to change it to 1000 and 500 uh, or anything you like and create. Now it gives you a, a design page, 1000 millimeter width and 500 millimeter high. By default is the T is tick, which is text input. So you can click on anywhere. You can type in any, uh, any, any lettering. So I'll just type in test. And if you click on the arrow, which is the select option function. And if you, you can move the text anywhere. As long as the text is inside the designing page, it doesn't matter where it, it is. And after you finish that, all the text need to be converted to curve. So the way to do it is actually split. So you can see there's um, the last icon here, word split. You click on that and just keep the first option, keep text block as a unit, press OK. Now if you Okay, now let's try it again. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, so now um, to converting the text to the actual um, curve, what you need to do is using this option, which is split to graph. This will convert text to curve. So if you click on this one, keep a word as a unit, press OK. Now this become individual lettering. Now if you want to uh, keep it as one word, so select everything and click on the third uh, option from the bottom, combine, it become one text. So now let's talk about how to um, resize this text. Select this one, go to graph, resize. You can easily change the size of this text. So let's say I want to cut out a hundred millimeter text, keep the ratio, then we will change the height by itself. Another way to do it is drag it here, make it bigger and smaller. But if you want to make it exactly the size you want, you have to go to graph, resize, keep the ratio, then you can make it exactly like 100 millimeter wide if you want to. So now, um, once we have a design, we are going to cut this out. 
That is the fun part. So let's go to the two options you can use. One is cut out icon here, or you can go to file, cut plot. So either way is fine. I normally use, select the one you want to cut and click on this cut out icon. And just uh, output the selected object only, yes. Okay, now you can see I already set up a device, which is the correct device, creation, King Cut CB630. Uh, if it's a new installation of ArcCut, it will pop up the device here. All you need to do is type in type the letter C, click, click any manufacturer, and press the letter C on your keyboard. It will, it will jump to all the manufacturers start with C. Until you see creation, HK, then you can see all the devices here. So if you, are buy, if you buy a CB630, select the CB630. Otherwise you can select the CB1200. If you're buying a CT model, you can select the CT630, or you can select the CT1200. So in our case, we are demoing a CB630 machine. So then we can select the CB630 here and press add. Yeah, but it's already there in our case. So that's what you should see. And press the close button. So uh, I need to explain a bit of this um, cut plot screen. Uh, so here is a preview screen to showing where the design is. As you can see, it's a very small design, so it's just right there. And it's very important to change the vinyl size here and here, especially the width. If you're cutting a uh, sticker vinyl, make it 600. If you're cutting the heat transfer vinyl, I normally make it to 490. And the height doesn't really matter, 2 meter, 20 meter, it sh it's not a big problem. Um, and here, the F means mirror. So if you want to mirror on the uh, heat transfer vinyl, click mirror, it will mirror the image. If you click the little people here, it will rotate the design if you need to. And here is the how many copy you want to cut out. So let's say I want to cut 10 copies. And this is the space between the copies. Um, let's say I want to have two millimeter space between each copies. And then you click on the preview screen, preview um, button. If you see, you can cut. That's the how, how you laid it out. Then you can kind of like rotate it. You know, if that fit uh, paper better. So this is all the basic uh, function you need to know. The rest of the option here, please don't change it unless you sure what you're doing. So let's go back to number one. And zero, zero, click preview. Rotate it back. Now, the second thing we need to set up is link to. Remember, I asked you to write down the COM number. In our case, it's COM1. So let's select COM1. And it's very important to click the setup here. Click parameters. And change the ball rate to 38.4 K. This is very important for this vinyl cutter. Uh, if you don't change this option, it won't work. Um, th the second option is the sequential control option. In this case, the X on and off is tick. This is not good. We need to untick this one. Only leave the last one and the first one. So only these two options is tick. And the ball ray make sure it's 38.4K. And press OK. Very important, press change. Do not press add. Only press change. And press the cross. 
to close this screen. So now, the last step is click on the cut prod. It pops up another window, output to cutter. Just click on star. Once I click on star, you should be able to see the vinyl cutter cuts. Let's see whether that magic will happen. Start. So it cuts out. Let's move it forward and check out the cut cutouts. 